Hey, welcome back to Afton Woodworks. Want to update you on another project completion, a serving tray. So I started this project about a year ago and for whatever reason set this down. At the time I had um, I had the base done or the, the um, I'll call it the base. I had the base done and had actually even taken the time to add my logo. Because this was over 20 inches, it doesn't fit in the Glowforge. So what I did is I took a piece and engraved it here, and then I inset it using the shape or origin into this base. And uh, hence I have a nice logo right in there. Um, over the last couple weekends, I finished the sides. This is uh, lace wood. And the ends are bird's eye maple. So I think this is really popped. Um, I've never really worked with lace wood. Um, I think it turned out really nice. And bird's eye maple I've worked a little bit with and I just think it's so unique in the way the figuring and the, the, the bird's eyes really pop. It's also got a little spalding on both sides, which I thought was nice. So um, as I was putting it together, I thought, man, I really don't have any solid or proper connection between this base and the sides. I didn't do a rabbit or anything like that. So what I did is I actually cut a dado all the way around the base, the width of the, the width of the kerf of the saw blade. And then I cut that same kerf into all the sides. And then I took a piece of pine and I cut spline. So there's a spline, it doesn't go all the way end to end, but it goes through the majority of the sides to really bring it together and lock it, kind of like a biscuit joint or um, a domino, etc. And I think that really helped. It was a simple fix to a concern that I had that it might eventually fall apart because this is solid wood. So we'll see how it turns out, out over time. I did miter each, each corner. Uh, so as it goes through expansion and contraction, we'll see how it performs. So. Um, overall, really happy. Again, I think the lace wood is just spectacular and uh, the bird's eye maple. I did finish it in Rubio Monocoat, which is the first time I've used that. That is a hard wax oil. I got it right, hard wax oil. Had never used that and it's really simple to put on. It might, might be my new go-to finish. It doesn't have a ton of sheen to it, so just be aware of that, but it is soft and um, it just pulls the color out, I think, very nicely. So, another project. Um, hope this inspired you to get out in your workshop, especially on these tough days where we're kind of all isolated. Work your mind, build something, and uh, stay healthy.